Yo, Saga Manga. And today we're gonna swing by Indigo. I really don't need any more manga, but I just really like browsing the shelves. So I'm going to Indigo. We're gonna do a small manga haul, probably only like one volume, but we're gonna do a random letter generator. So I'm gonna generate two letters just in case I don't find anything on the first letter. And I'm gonna go to the shelves. So let's say I just generate Q. I have to find a manga that starts with Q. <laughs> and if I can't, I'm gonna go to the second letter and we are gonna pick up something based on that letter that is randomly generated. Let's go. All right, guys. So I realized after recording everything that my microphone never connected to my phone uh, right here is just trying out a new shot i put my phone on a separate shelf so i could record myself and here we're just kind of browsing i did do the random letter generator and i'm going to put it up on screen now i got a letter m and the letter u as my secondary option so in a second we move over here here's the m section and I'm kind of just browsing it out. There was actually a lot of M manga. So you'll see once I go to like the first person recording, you'll see all of the manga that I saw on the shelves. Now we're starting from the, the A section, you know, Akira, Alice in Borderland, Attack on Titan and Berserk. This is always the same. So I do go pretty fast right here. But there's always the blue lock, the blue period, bungo stray dogs, call of night, and then a giant chainsaw man section, which I guess they just don't sell a lot of chainsaw man. And then, ooh, I didn't even notice Dandadans on volume six. I'm kind of waiting for that anime. And then you have a huge fire force section, fairy tale. Also, Freyren. I don't know if that manga is finished yet or not. And nothing really caught my eye in this section. I did see Heart Gear Volume 4 and the Helsing Singles, which was pretty interesting. But other than that, not much. Giant amount of J uh, JoJo's right there. The Kaiju, the JJK. It's all the classic stuff. But I was really trying to get to this section, which is the M, which is my first letter. I picked up this Marriage Toxin. I don't know, kind of looked like a romance wasn't feeling it and then there's mars red which i've seen quite a bit so i just flipped through it it was like a maybe so i, I put it back on the shelf and then we're going to continue here you know we see mob psycho but a lot of this manga that starts with the letter m was very similar like the white spine with this pink or purple lettering as you can see on this shelf they're almost all identical so nothing was really popping out to me it just nothing yeah nothing looked unique on the shelf and then we get to the ends right here so we go back up just to do a quick browse i've always seen this momo and it's got really cool covers but it Kind of had like some lolly thing when I read chapter one online. And I see this Star Wars Mandalorian. Kind of cool, I guess. I'm not too into Star Wars. So we're going to go over here to our second letter, which was U. And we start up here. You have this uncanny counter manhwa never heard of it so flip through it honestly the art style in this was kind of not the best so we put it down for now i do put it back don't worry then you have undead unluck and i noticed unholy blood which i've been noticing the covers for this and they look pretty cool again another manhwa but this art style is way nicer in my opinion than the other one Looks somewhat interesting. And then only other thing there was under Ninja. Then we got Uzumaki. And then this one by Takahashi. But 
again, nothing really catching my eye on these letter U's. So here we stick back that manhwa. Always put the shit back on the shelf. And we might come back to that unholy blood. We'll just do a little quick browse here, you know. Just just in case. Here I was looking for Soloist in a Cage, Volume 2. I got it in my last shopping video, and they don't have it anymore. Which is unfortunate. I really need those next two volumes. So now we're going to go back to the M's. Because it's kind of hard when you limit yourself to like one or two letters trying to pick up a random volume. But again, this M section, just like nothing was really popping out. If you made it this far in the video, comment below what you've been watching uh, or reading. So I've read a lot and I actually finally started a new anime code Gios. It is a older one, but it's been talked about forever and I wanted to start it. So I've watched two episodes. Pretty good so far. Okay, Alana. We're gonna go with Unholy Blood. Alright, so we went with Unholy Blood, Volume 1. I also do want to get into Mon one more. It's just they are expensive, so <laughs> I mean, I'm never gonna be buying another one at full price like this. 10% off with my uh, with my membership, but I did look this up and it's only 90 episodes or chapters really. And this one has 12, I guess 13, it has an afterward chapter. So this is finished at 90 chapters. That's another reason I was willing to go into it. Which 90 chapters, if each volume has around 12, that's seven and a half, seven, eight volumes. So probably eight volumes total for this to finish. So if I enjoy this, then yeah, we will continue. But we're going to have to pick those up at a discounted rate because 26 Canadian, pretty expensive. But I mean, they are full color and eyes press. They do a good job, man. I also really like the art style in this. It's a classic good art style, like, you know. Awesome, dude. Now I'm gonna go get some oil for my car because I need to do oil change, so. I mean, I also noticed that my mic was not on the entire time in there, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover this entire video. But it is what it is. If you enjoyed, like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video which should come out like maybe within a week from now peace